Hey guys, today we are going to restore some plastic trim. This time it's the plastic trim that has a clear coat on it. The clear is faded, most spots. Some spots it is completely chipping off little by little. And the rest is just stained and very dull. Both mirrors are very oxidized. The wiper motor covers are oxidized and chipping off clear. We're going to blend that in and for the mirrors we're going to remove the oxidation and then around the back at the staining and the dullness we're going to uh, polish that as well. We're going to use the 3 inch Griot's Garage polisher. It is perfect for this because we do not want a lot of power for plastic, uh, plastic trim. Polishing plastic trim takes a little bit more finesse than anything else because the clear on this trim is actually way thinner than the clear coat on your car. Factory clear is one and a half to two mils. We're looking at three quarters of a mil to a mil thick uh, clear coat on the plastic trim, if that, uh, depending on wear and tear. So we're gonna uh, we'll do a little section here. We're gonna do some testing and see what chemicals work. I'm gonna start with the. Uh, uh, firm pad which I always use but we're going to use the QPON 6.2 ultra fine cutting cream let's come in close get a look if that works we're going to use that to polish the plastic trim all the way around that is actually going to work great so we're going to stick with that right here is the QPON 6.2 ultra fine cutting cream we're going to stick with the Griot's Garage 3 inch with a firm pad when polishing these pieces, and it comes to pressure, pressure is going to be extremely light actually. I'm, I only have one finger on top of the unit pressing down, and that's even with one hand. Um, it doesn't take a lot to correct these areas, so you want to keep pressure light and you want to keep temperature down. There are no deep scratches. Um, taking a look all the way around the trim, but there are swirls and love marks from washing. Uh, these will be removed while we're removing the staining and oxidation uh, all in one shot with the QP on. I urge you to mask off the, the rubber trim and also mask off the convertible top. We don't need to get up against those uh, and make even more work for ourselves. We don't want to get residue down in between the trim and the rubber seals, so we mask those off as well. If the vehicle has power windows, go ahead, jump on in and move those front and back so you can reach uh, with the polisher. If they're manual, just flip them front and back and you'll be able to get the polishing pad in there easily. Go ahead and use some caution while removing the polish residue from the area. Be a good idea to have um, a top quality microfiber edgeless uh, plush and use light pressure removing the residue. That way you won't scratch and mar up what you just took all that time polishing. In here we have fading oxidation, um, some staining, and we also have a little bit of the clear starting to uh, break away and chip off here and there. We're gonna blend all that in, but before we do, uh, we're gonna add some product. And before we add product, yes, we have to clean off the pads. Forced air or a dedicated brush. I would normally remove the wiper arms altogether, but um, I flipped them up and I can get my fingers in between the base and the uh, wiper motor covers. So I'm just going to leave them on, save a little time. The QP on can be used by hand with a DA or by rotary. Again, light pressure in this area. I'm letting the tool do the work. I'm just guiding it with my hand. The weight of the polisher plus my hand resting on top of it will be plenty, uh, will be enough pressure to get the job done. Take your time, be careful removing the spent residue. Then we're gonna take a look and I think that's gonna do it. We should be able to move on to the next piece. 
You definitely want to be even more cautious than with regular clear coat, uh, with this uh, clear being that thin. So when you had the piece looking good, move on, um, spare the integrity of what is left, and protect it. The pad has been cleaned. We have some new product on. We're going to take care of this mirror. It was uh, extremely oxidized as well. The plastic trim, or this much of it anyways, is usually found abundant on the A and B pillars. Uh, rarely do you find this much of it on one vehicle, wrapping from the front of the windshield back to the back of the convertible top. I have most of the video sped up to keep the, uh, the whole length of the video short and sweet, but uh, arm speed should be steady. Don't hold it in one spot too long. You want to keep the temperature down. You don't want to hover in one area. That looks good. We went down far enough. We don't have to take it down anymore. So we're going to move on to the next piece. Um, that's going to be the piece on top of the wiper motor and that's where it's actually starting to chip and peel off. I'm going to polish this, I'm going to clean this up and blend it in, but I do want to bring you in afterwards and show you just how uh, thin that clear is. But before we do that, we have to clean the pad the best we can. We don't want any kind of spent residue sticking in the pad to swirl up the, the piece we're trying to polish. If clear is starting to chip off or peel off or is missing or you do um, accidentally burn through, you will see the difference. Uh, both the cleared areas and uh, the areas underneath do polish uh, to a nice gloss, but they will be a different shade of color. The cupion barely leaves any residue, uh, both while you're polishing and when your uh, polishing is complete, but we're going to buff off the area anyway. And I want to bring you in, and here, if I can get the right angle, you can just see uh, how thin that clear is on these pieces. The areas will end up getting glossy and shiny again, but you can see the difference in shade of color. Okay, so that leaves one more area to complete. I went ahead and masked it off and we're going to complete this last little area that has some staining, some swirl marks and is quite faded. And that will do it. The Cupion 6.2 Ultra Fine Cutting Cream did a great job here. It actually does a good job in many situations. I'm going to put a link down below if you're interested or want to look into it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. If you have um, anything to add or you want to let us know what you use to polish the plastic trim, the clear coated plastic trim on cars, leave it in the comments section. This is Brian from Apex Detail. We'll catch you next time.